deepfake has come a pretty long way. It started from stitching people's faces onto another person's face, then came along the process of animating a still face with just a video. And now, you can just simply use audio to create basic lip sync. I have a pretty horrific video about the lip sync AI wave to lip, but I beg you not to check it out because it's so cringe. <laughs> to make the above evolution chart easier to understand, the Bakamitai meme stands around in the middle. It was hilarious in its own way because of how badly the faces were animated. But what if it's decently animated? I'll probably ruin the fun, but I'll show you later in the video. So, in this episode of Beating a Dead Meme, let me introduce you to PCAVS, short for Post Controllable Audio Visual System. It's like if First Order Motion Model and Wave to Lib had a baby. Not only it can lip sync any videos with just audio. Uh, listen. I will be more ready than I was in 2012 because I will have done my job. It can also copy the head movements from another video too. The flexibility of this AI is just incredible. And this is because this AI model is built upon three main parts. First is the input identity, which is the part that focuses on generating and manipulating the face you choose as an input. This part controls how the face looks like and how consistent it will be when animated and moved around. To put it in perspective, FOM has a worse identity generation control consistency when the face moves too much. This is what caused the face to deform in the meme. While PCAVS generates new and consistent facial details with limited information from the input, but there would be a consistency problem on regenerating the faces, even though it's a pretty good solution. The second part is basically the information about input posts you want to use as a reference. Whether the face looks up or down, this part will make sure to transfer the head movements aka the pose onto the input identity. The last part uses the audio spectrogram and synchronizes it with the visual features which are the lips. Combining all three of these parts, a much more consistent and flexible face animation is then born. With respect to the three parts, three files are then required to use as an input, an audio, a target face, and a pose. You can use it in the intended way like on their official demo, or you could turn something into the speaking image by making the target face and the pose both the same thing, or just slightly create some movements to make the speech look a bit more natural. This offers a lot of possibilities and functionalities unlike wave to lip which can only make the lips movements in sync with the audio, or unlike FOM which can only move around the facial features that may make it look slightly awkward. The only functional wise downside is that currently you cannot just use a video without an audio to generate a talking face, like how FOM can just animate other faces with its driving video. Since the audio is the basis of this AI, it means that the lips movements are based on the audio spectrograms, so you need a clear speaking audio to make the lips move as intended. This means I would need to manually sing Bakamitai myself if I want to reproduce the meme. Dame dana, dame yo, dame nano yo. This is some really fun stuff, even though the output quality is pretty low. Unfortunately, we won't be able to increase it for now as it depends on the identity generation part. So basically, the resolution is stuck here because of the architecture of the AI model. If you want to try it yourself, I'll link my tutorial down in the description. It's a pretty messy setup as the original codes were all meant for the Linux system. But if you are patient enough, you can give it a try. Or you can just work with today's sponsor, 27 Stars, to set up and run these AIs for you or for your business. 27 Stars is a London based development company that creates custom, tailored web and mobile applications for individuals or businesses of all sizes. They are really experienced, nice, and friendly people to work with, and they are also providing an exclusive 10% discount for all of you guys if you choose to work with them. All you have to do is to include my name in the initial email to receive the discount, and by working with them, you are also in there directly supporting me too, which allows me to dedicate more of my time to work on these fun videos. Thank you so much for watching, also a big shout out to MD and many other patrons that support my work through Patreon. You can share your generated results over on my discord channel or if you have any questions feel free to put it there. Follow my twitter if you haven't and I'll see you all in the next one.